Hello everyone. I'm launching, or actually I'm recording this quick short video to show you how to use the Canvas Math Equation Editor. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the Canvas Math Equation Practice Quiz. I just posted this so that you can all practice this yourselves. So let me go ahead and click on it. All right, it's worth zero points, but there's 11 questions and you can try this, uh, you know, as many times as you need to, to, to get you um, more familiar with using the, ed edit, the editing tool. So let me go ahead and go in. And so here's question number one. So it's asking, it's asking you to type in the following equation into the text box. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and click inside the text box and then I'm going to go to this um, where it says insert math equation. It's got a, a square root with an X in it. So I'm going to go ahead and open that and I'm going to click inside the actual text box here. Now, what you'll notice is that you've got different opera operations, the basic operations in this field. What we need to do is, is put in mu, the mu formula, right? The, um, the population mean formula. So we have to go to the next tab over, which is the Greek letters. And here is where you find mu. So mu. And then go ahead and... Whoop, put in an extra one there <laughs> and just put in an equal sign that's on your keyboard right and go back to basic and we're doing a fraction so here is the here is here is what you'll need to click on to do a fraction and the fraction is Sigma capital Sigma and then type in X and then you can click on the little text box and then capital N and then insert equation. And there we go. All right, that's the first one. Let's try this one. So again, insert math equation. This time, go ahead and click inside the text box. This time I don't have to do the Greek letters. It's just an M equal to, and then fraction, and it's sigma x. And here, you can either click in the box, or you can just use, or you can just use your arrow key down to move into that space. All right, and there's our equation for the sample mean. Insert equation. All right, question number three. It gets a little more complicated. Let's go ahead and click in the text box, and again, click on the equation editor. All right. And now we're doing this, the population variance formula. All right, so this is a sigma, right? Sigma is right over here. Go back to basic. Now, it's sigma squared, right? So here is the superscript. So we're going to type in a 2 because it's sigma squared, and then equal, type in an equal. And now, remember, this is a fraction, right? We're starting out with a fraction, so we're going to go ahead and put in the fraction here. And it's sigma, type in x, and again, it's a superscript, 2, arrow over, right, to get out of the superscript, and it's minus now we have another fraction, right? A fraction within a fraction. So click on the fraction. And now we have open parentheses, right? And it's capital sigma, x, and then arrow, arrow over to get out of the parentheses, superscript to the second power, right? and then into the box there and there's n 
and then the bottom, the denominator is n here. All right, and that's insert, and there we go. Now, if you made a mistake, you can actually click back in and go back into the actual formula and fix the formula, All right? Does that make sense, hopefully? <laughs> All right, let's go to, let's see, okay, so that's, that's variance, right? So let's, okay, now let's do standard deviation. All right, so here we go. We'll go back into math, math equation editor. Greek letter, because we're still in sigma, <coughs> equals, <whoop. laughs> I hit the delete button instead of equals. <coughs> All right, back to basic. Now, we're starting with a square root, right? And it's a fraction. So we're gonna go ahead and do the fraction. And it's sigma x superscript two, arrow key over, minus another fraction, si whoop, 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 forgot open parentheses, and by the way, it gives you the closed parentheses on the other side, which is really helpful. Sigma x, and then arrow over, so you go outside of the parentheses and do your, sub, your superscript to the second power, and capital N for that denominator, and then capital N for that last denominator. And there's our equation. There we go, awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and do, how about this one? Let's go ahead and do this one. So click in the text box, SS is equal to, remember SS is the sum of squares, right? That's just the numerator of your variance and standard deviation formulas. So we're gonna do sigma x superscript squared, arrow over minus, we go to the fraction, right? And then again, open parentheses, sigma x, and then arrow over superscript squared, and this is a capital N or lowercase n if it's sample, right? And there we go. And the others, the others are more practice, but with sample variants and sample standard deviation, all right? So hopefully this helps. Um, this helps you to practice. If you have questions, send me a quick email. Thanks.